So W Hub solves the problem of getting people's resources together so that they can actually build their companies. Uh, was this a thing that was not in existence before in Hong Kong when you first came here to start? The, was, it, was that really missing? Well, when we started off, that's about 18 years ago, and mm -hmm. the startup scene has really grown exponentially since then. Mm -hmm. And yes, at this point in time, we felt there is somebody who needs to connect the startups to the resources they need to double their business, mm -hmm. to grow and expand. Um, that was connecting them to talent, mm -hmm. um, as well as connecting them to um, uh, startups within each other to work on synergies and uh, mm -hmm. you know see if they can collaborate, um, and also to investors. So I think um, the key is uh, the startup scene was pretty much focused on itself, mm -hmm. and we felt we had we needed someone to open it up and mm. draw resources in. So when you say focused on itself, so take me back to 18 years ago when you first drop into this this problem. What do you mean it was pulling from its own population? Is that is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, it's 18 months, not 18 years. Oh, I think years. you said 18 years ago. <laughs> no, 18 I was gonna months say, ago. So 18 months yeah. ago, you felt like there was not enough sharing of these resources or, or inroads to this. Well, I think it's a combination of several factors. I think um, actually the startup um, scene started really growing fast. And to support that growth, you need resources. Mm -hmm. um, and given that the growth was that fast, we really wanted to make sure that we drive more resources or um, resources in and we open up the ecosystem. Okay. Um, because if we step back for a second, I think um, still today in Hong Kong, um, when people say that it's very difficult to get talent and to attract people, mm. um, you know, becoming an entrepreneur is not yet top of mind of students when they leave mm. university. Um, so really spreading out the word and say, look, um, there is a real alternative for a corporate career. Um, you know, it's about becoming an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. starting up your own business. That's something that you know needs still advertising and also you know back at that point. So what what would actually convince people to make that leap into into this entrepreneurial lifestyle? Because I I think we are talking about a city where there are sort of four main industries where people once they're out of college they can go on to like insurance, banking, logistics, right? What, what, what's the thing that convinces people to do this? Absolutely. Well, our killer slogan, it's all about the passion, right? Yeah. But if we dig a little bit further, I mean, beyond really doing something um, that you're feeling passionate about, um, mm -hmm. I think the key difference of working in a startup versus a large corporation is the flexibility a startup can provide, mm -hmm. um, as well as you know the direct uh, impact on, on society and really making things happen from mm -hmm. a very early stage in your career. And on the flexibility side, you know, um, it's flexibility in working hours, in work location. You know, mm -hmm. let's face it, sometimes startups, they don't even have an office, so yeah. they're quite happy if you work yeah. from home. Yeah. Um, it is flexibility in roles and responsibilities. You're, you're not stuck in an expert role. Mm -hmm. um, that's why often, by the way, also career changers, you know, see this now as an opportunity to do something else, mm. right? Well, this is, this is what I wanted to ask you. In this line of work where you're trying to draw people together, are most of these people coming in from a younger generation, or do you find more of the entrepreneurs are actually people who have been through a couple careers already? Well, it's great to see that is that it's very diversified now. Mm. I think at the beginning, um, you probably even had more uh, mature people coming in. I think Hong Kong is very interesting um, because you have people who came out of banking, had a little bit of pocket money to play around with, and mm. said, okay, I'll just kind of start up and, and do something new. Um, and the younger side was still a little bit lacking behind. Um, and I think this is changing now. And again, that's also one of our role. And mm. it's great to see an event like this sort of at Hong Kong University. Yeah, yes, it's exactly. the same kind of thing, right? Yeah. Exactly, like drawing more younger people in. But I think if you dig deep, um, you can see that uh, in Hong Kong, there are a lot of uh, associations and a lot of young people now who, yeah, just take the leap. I mean, yeah. and, and that's and great. Go. Well, this is good advice. Thank you, Karina. Appreciate it. Good luck with WHUB. Thank you very much. Yeah.